City, man. Come on. Inshallah. All praises be unto you. How about Shemi Al Shah, Bash and Rakaf Dash? Double honors unto the apostles and the bishop elders at Great Millstone, who were well and who taught us his truth. Um, Salutations to the Archim who continue to push the word in truth and in sincerity. This is the second go round trying this video. Um, you know, nobody wants to call your phone. You know, nobody calls me, man. Too tough. And then when you do a video, you know, that's when people want to start calling your phone, man. You know, but um, it is what it is. Just start again. You know, the scripture says, strive for truth unto death and the Lord shall fight for thee, man. You know, because what Satan wants, ah, oh, you got a call, just pack it in, do it another time. No, got off that call and I'm back at it again. Lord willing, it's edifying. But yeah, this, you know, last week, this particular line from uh, this chapter here, Second Ezra 15, um, in verse 3, where it says, Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee. It's just been on my mind for the last couple of days, man. You know, so, um, Lord willing, you know, it's the spirit. I may just run for a couple of verses, or I may go through the majority of the chapter. We'll see it's all the spirit. But, um, just want to get into that, so let's, um, just read it, man, because that's what we're here to do, read from the scriptures. This is Echonezus 15 from verse 1, and it says, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, okay, which is contained in the Bible, man. Okay, so this is why from the apostles and the bishops on down, it's, it's emphasized that we just break the scriptures down and read from the scriptures. Always go back to the scriptures, okay? Stay in the scriptures because our job is just not to speak. Well, our job is to speak the words of prophecy, which are the words of the Most High, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Okay? Which the word prophecy basically is to say beforehand. Okay? You know? Or what has been said beforehand, that which was written in the Holy Scriptures, man. Okay? The Scripture says, from a child I have known the Holy Scriptures. Right? You know, that can be... You know, for like an Israelite in the ancient world that grew up in um un under the, the writings of the Torah and, and, and the prophets, you know. But then for us coming in, we're newborn babes, you know. So from us coming into the truth, we're children. So from a child, I have known the Holy Scriptures, meaning that from the first time we came in, or the first Salakia, first time we came from the time we came in, rather, is what I meant to say, you know. Where to be in the scriptures, man. You know, not in... You can't, you can't be in the truth and not in the scriptures, man. From a child, I've known the holy scriptures, right? So the words of prophecy are the scriptures. So it says, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. That's the Bible. Fear not the imagination against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. And we get into the word incredulity, is <clears throat> basically the unbelief, all right? The faithless, those without faith, unbelief, man. So it says, let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. You know, oh, here it is, another year, and you're talking about this, 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 uh, this, um, Yahawashai coming from the clouds and these chariots, and you know, you're gonna have a kingdom, but. Guess what? You know, we still got a prime minister. We still got a president, you know. He ain't back yet. What's, what's up with your, what's up with your Lord? You know, that's all the incredulity of them that trouble thee, man. They're troubling us with their, um, their words of disbelief, man. You know, but it says, let not the unbelief, let, look, let not the, the, those without faith, let not the incredulity of them trouble thee. Don't let it trouble us, man. They may come to it, to, they may try and come to us to trouble us with it, but we're to not let it trouble us. We're to just look at them and let it be as water off a duck's back. You know, ducks are in the pond, you know. It's natural for the water to roll on their back. It should be natural for us to just shrug off the unbelieving statements of people around us that speak against us, man. We're not to let it get to us because we have our eyes single upon the Lord. We believe, we have faith. Whereas they are the unfaithful. It says it here in verse 4. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness, man. Okay, Lord willing, we enjoy it unto the end. We're going to have life in your whole shy. 
all right in fact um uh let me pull it i've been going to the scripture a lot lately you know kind of feeling um um this particular verse man uh yep colossians chapter 3 verse 4 and it says um let me start from verse 3 and it says no let me start from verse 2 and it says no let me start from verse 1 so like it says if he then be risen with a mashiach seek those things which are above where your whole shy sitteth on the right hand of the most high set your affection on things above not on things on the earth and people that don't have faith you know it's because they're 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 carnal they're earthbound man they can't see above how wish I said it, I'm from above and ye are from beneath. For ye are dead, and your life is hid with your Hawashai in the most high. This is the point now in verse 4, Colossians 3 and 4. When your Hawashai, who is our life, shall appear, then shall ye also appear with him in glory. Okay? You know? So, <laughs> there's the contrast. Here you have Colossians 3 and 4 saying, When your Hawashai comes, who is our life, shall... uh shall appear then shall ye also appear with him in glory the contrast to that is second Ezra 15 and verse 4 for all that are unfaithful shall die in their own faithfulness so which side do we want to be on how then can we allow the incredulity of them that don't believe get to us the scriptures say don't let it trouble thee man just shrug it off all the scoffing, all the, oh, you think Jesus is black and you're into this Hebrew and you wear the funny garments and what's wrong with you, your brain, what's your change, your this, your that, he ain't come back yet, where's he at? Allow them to keep going. Don't let it trouble us, man. Why? Because them same unfaithful scoffers, they're going to die, man. Okay, and the scriptures also say the same shall know it death by pain. So they're not only going to die, but they're going to die in a gruesome, horrific, painful way. Okay, for all the unfaithful, second Ezra 15 and 4, for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Okay, uh, verse 5, Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the, wo on the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Alright, the, therefore, saith the Lord, Jehovah, by Shem Yehoah, I will hold my tongue no more, as touching their wickedness. Which they profanely commit, neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, uh, the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. You know, that's the, the, the those who have passed on in the spirit realm, they complain to the Lord, we're on the earth, we complain to the Lord, you know. But there's going to be a recompense, there's going to be a day of reckoning. Where all those who are unfaithful have to pay and they're going to die, man. You know, so don't let scoffers get to us, man. Don't let family members and people in your life, could be a woman, could be your children, it could be anyone. People at the job, man. Oh, yeah, well, you know. Because guess what? You may not even, the scripture says, let not your right hand know what your left hand do if, you know. So even, like, say at the job, you don't even let them know what you're into. But it's just the spirits on them will say certain things. You know, to try and aggravate you. Because the demons on them uh, recognize the righteous spirit on you. You know? But no matter the walk of life, the avenue, whatever that means be, don't let the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. Because they're unfaithful and they're going to die, man. That's how we just got to see it. These people, they're going to die. Okay? All the shit talking, all the scoffing, all the, all the, all the mocking, you know, all the foolery. All of it, man. They're going to die. It's, it's like, they're not... Come on, man. A scoffer, a mocker, you know, a scorner. All pretty much the same thing. Someone that, you know, is just a deed. Do you think they're going to they're gonna receive life eternal? When your Hawashah comes back, they're going to also rise with him in glory? No. They're going to die, man. So why, why worry about them? When potentially for you and potentially for me, Abba Ratazar, Lord willing, we're going to have life and life eternal. Yahweh Shai said that he will give life and life more abundantly. So why 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 worry about their the, the, the redundant opinion of deaf candidates, man? Okay? Why worry about the opinion of deaf candidates 
we have a shot at life. We have a shot at salvation, man. So that's it, man. Let me read that verse again and close it out. Second Ezra 15 and 3. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity, which is the unbelief of them trouble thee, that speak against thee. Don't worry about these people, man. We just got to focus on the prophecies and press forward and pray for more faith and endurance and strength. In your heart, Bashem, you know, Shai, Bashem, Makakadash. We do that and we good, man. Lord willing, well, the elect. Shalom.